Derek O'Brien. Sir, three speakers have spoken. 20 minutes. Three speakers today have spoken on the motion of thanks in the President's address. Two have been from the ruling party. They spoke for 92 minutes. The opposition interrupted them not once. One sp speaker has spoken from the opposition 30 minutes. His speech was interrupted seven times. That's a statistic. Leave that away. I am today on the address by the President of India. The first quote from this address is the subject of the first five, six minutes of my speech. I quote, the long felt urge to be rid of the scourge of mega scams and corruption, unquote. This is the Honorable President of India, and we all know, as is the tradition, the President of India does not write these speeches, the government writes these speeches. Yes. So, all honor to the President of India. On this one, first issue, sir, mega scams. Sir, institutions have been weakened. ED, CBI, SEBI. Here is a big scam happening. Some say 1 lakh, 2 lakhs, we're not getting into the number. Will the government of India use the draconian PMLA, Money Laundering Act, will they use it? They use it very efficiently to hound the opposition, to put lookout notices, and even to topple governments. There's a very interesting statistic here, sir. In the last eight years, 5,422 laundering cases registered, money laundering, 98% have been done in the last nine years. Interestingly, only 1%, 25 people have been conducted by the ED. You cannot have one rule for the opposition and your opponents and you cannot have one rule for your friends and cronies. No, sir, you can't. Now, let's come to LIC. My previous speaker has done me a service. He's explained so much about LIC, SBI, and the Adani, and the Adani story, because there's lots of money at risk of the poor and the middle class. Now, whose job is this? The government's job? To be the watchdog? And the institutions. My point today is that this government has weakened institutions consistently over the art eight, nine years. I can talk about parliament, I can talk about RBI, SEBI, everyone. Now, when we say, I only want to give you one example. There's a preamble which we are all familiar with, which is our great preamble of our constitution. Sir Sebi also has a preamble. And the Sebi preamble is mandated with A, to protect the interests of investors and securities, to promote the development of the securities market, and to regulate the securities market. Why was Sebi sleeping? Yes. Why the inaction? I would urge this government to read Sebi section 11.4. Section 11.4 of SEBI. You're very eager to put out lookout notices, that same 98% for your political notices. Have you considered lookout notice in the last 10 days? Think about it. Sir, sir, these are big issues of corruption. But on the motion of thanks, we can also talk about the not so well known issues because for all this the bjp do write some good slogans and you like those slogans and it's used by the prime minister na khaunga na khane dunga they need to ponder about the slogan sir na khaunga na khane dunga i never thought the day i would come from the trinamool congress and start quoting bjp slogans Let's take another scam, three, four scams. Today we've all been discussing the big one. 
Let's take some other scams here. Meghalaya. One, smart meter scam. Two, rice scam. Three, police vehicle scam. And scam, scam, scam. BJP in the government. But one of the most interesting ones I found there was the assembly dome scam. By these standards, it's only small change. 200, 300 crores, sir. Chillad. <laughs> Here, the Meghalaya Legislative Assembly in a BJP government state was constructed and the entire dome sadly crashed. But the most interesting thing about this scam, look at this partnership. Guess who built the Meghalaya dome? Uttar Pradesh Nirman Nigam Limited. This is true federalism in the worst possible sense. Who is responsible, sir? Who is responsible? So when we talk about scams and scams, now let's come to Mr. Modi, our Prime Minister, was the Chief Minister. We know that and it hurts and pains me that somebody from Chief Minister who became Prime Minister, how can he start the economic blockade of states? How can he be against fiscal federalism? How can he squeeze the states of funds? Look at Manrega, one example. Bengal was total 10,153 crores. Now they'll tell us, no, though they paid a few hundred crores, Manrega. Now Manrega is a five-year low of 42 days work per household. Many years ago, the current prime minister didn't like Manrega. He called it a Gadda Gurneke scheme. Today it's down to 42 days. Now, another issue at Manrega. App, simple issue. This is a real issue on the ground. The app, mandatory for officials to upload twice a day laborers' photographs. That is completely impractical because the connectivity is low, so the attendance will go low, and what will happen? The union government will have less money to spend on Manrega. So, listen to this statistic. Nine crew active workers, if you take nine crew active workers who are working 100 days a year, total expense will be 3 lakh crores. Instead, 73,000 crores has been allocated by this government. Sir, there is so much to talk about how anti-federal this government is. Cess and surcharge. At one time, the union government would take 10% of cess and surcharge. Now that number is 20%. States spend on education, health. States are spending 60 to 80%. Not the union. Sir, and another completely anti-constitutional story is a double engine sarkar. It is anti-constitutional. You vote for me in this state because I am running the center. Doesn't work, sir. This is anti-constitutional. We are talking about diversity. And the last one on <coughs> this is the <coughs> borrowing to the state, 3.5%, but look at the fine print. 0.5% has to be electricity reform. Condition. That's a condition. Sir, price. For all the complaints about price, opposition is saying, Price rise, full cream milk has gone up by 33%. Full cream milk, toned milk has gone up by 36%. And the opposition is saying, price is going up, price is going up. But they have been successful on a few selected share prices that they've managed to take up. You and know, it's the same story with fuel. <laughs> fuel prices, two-wheeler prices jumped by 40%. And... Page 1, clause 2D in the Rashtrapati's address talks about women. Two crore women quit the workforce in the last five years. Talks about youth. The youth don't want slogans. Four crore people are unemployed today, young people. These are CMI data, sir. Sir, we talked about institutions and one of the great institutions which is being weakened and before I say anything about the institution, I'm all praise for those independent journalists, the young men and women who, despite all the pressures from the media owners, are still going and trying to do their very best for journalism. So there's an old Zulu proverb, because today, even the opposition's voice is not amplified. Media owners have their agenda, sir. There's an old Zulu proverb. 
think this is the first time a Zulu proverb is being quoted in parliament, but here. Here's the problem with the media owners, sir. A dog with a bone in its mouth can't bark. Enough said, sir. A dog... What is this bell going on? Yes, 20 minutes. So it's 10 minutes left? No, no. Yeah, only 10 minutes. Only 10 minutes. Only 10 minutes. 417. 417. Thank you, sir. You started, sir. I have 20 minutes. I've spoken for 10. No, so. sir. You've spoken more than that. More than that. More than that. <laughs> sir, sir is, it, is it only your prerogative to make omissions? It's mine no, also. Sir, it's okay. And That's I can okay. no, no. Uh, and I can equally so correct. And, and, and we have old relationship. It goes back to West Bengal. Go ahead. Sir, sir, give me a minute to because of breaking a flow. You'll get extra minute for it. Sir, when sitting here, breaking a flow is, you know, breaking a flow. We didn't even once disturb anybody. I mean, Prakash uh, made sir, my old friend Prakash Javed. I can sir, tell you, sometimes. Such a good speech. Sometimes. Made, sir, one me, second, one second. Uh, one second. Sometimes a speaker gets energized when he's interrupted. And I know it out of personal experience. He will wear me out. Chief Minister of Rajasthan, who happened to be chairman here, he, if he were in the assembly, one interruption would mean 20 more minutes uninterrupted it would go. So take the interruption as a recipe and nectar. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sir, I am allergic to nectar or amritkal of any kind. So, uh, sir, so I was, sir, we were talking about, we were talking about media and we have all respect for those journalists and I was making a point because the media, even a friendly country, a friendly country, a public broadcaster from a friendly country, there again, they want to show something, they've done some work based on research. We know which documentary we are talking about, there again, Chapo, friendly country, public broadcaster. Sir, in fact, I would also today, I spoke about the media owners. I mean, look at the kind of journalism today we are coming up with. And I should not call it journalism. Media owners reporting. What was the big news after the budget? Big data point. 124 times the prime minister banged the desk in Lok Sabha. Trinamool Congress are more on to these figures. We want to give you some real numbers from Manrega, from jobs, from SCST budget. You're telling us 124 times bank. Ooh. Sir, again back to the speech. Let us fulfill the oath. Let us fulfill the oath of the Constitution. Quote unquote from the speech. I want to read. Article 25 of that Constitution. All persons are equally entitled to freedom of conscience and the right to pre freely profess, practice, and propagate your religion. What's going on? And for too long, we have kept quiet. Why? Polarize or don't speak. What is happening in the churches in Assam? Why are they being burnt? In Meghalaya, in Uttar Pradesh, in Karnataka. You didn't even spare Mother Teresa. We you shut the FCRA account. So read the Article 25 of the Constitution. Read it. Jammu Kashmir. Bulldozing happening in the last so many weeks. Sir, there are five or six phrases which this address does not contain. Two of the BJP speakers were celebrating, and good, the lady from Nagaland, congratulations, we are so happy to have you here as the first lady MP from Nagaland, and the other one, the athlete, who I never call by her name, I've made a deal with her, no calling you by your name, I just call her legend, because she's a legend. Why don't the lady from Nagaland 
and the legend ask this government next week if they so love women bring the women's reservation bill to parliament bring it we will pass it in two days time yes. Yes. big talk i don't want to do beti bachao beti padao because then i'll tell you what the wrestling federation and what your mp's do to women yeah 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 hey next missing in the speech fuel price not a word about fuel price not a word about inflation doubling farmers income keep repeating a lie at least take the help of the chief minister of bengal she promised to double farmers income when she came to power in 2011 she didn't she made it triple Show me the trouble. Now you've shifted the goalposts and made yours to 2027. Migrant worker crisis, not a line. Demonetization. We told you, we warned you. You didn't only demonetize the currency, you demoneyed India and its migrant workers. And another phrase, not a word of it in this. What happened? Smart city. Smart city. Not a word. Sir, and my last point today, we have two other speakers here, and I quote from this one here, sir, the last page of the speech. Quote: A Bharat whose diversity is even more vivid, and whose unity becomes even more shakable. Powerful words, sir, in this motion of thanks on the president's address. and my party in the last 23 years since we've been here it's the it's our tradition that we speak strongly against the government we've never boycotted and i don't think any of us ever have boycotted the president's address so don't yes. go there and we don't ever move a motion or press a motion on the president's address we understand the government writes the president speaks but listen to these powerful lines from the motion of thanks a bharat whose diversity is even more vivid and whose unity becomes even more shakable unquote no political party not the trinamool congress not my friends from the dmk or the cpm or the congress everybody sir congress or the aam aadmi party or the sp or the bsp i'll read this line once a bharat whose diversity all of us what we couldn't do somebody did sir these lines and this is the crux a bharat whose diversity is even more vivid and whose unity becomes even more sh more shakable these lines were turned into a film before these lines were written well done siddharth anand well done india's biggest global ambassadors well done those of you who made pathan what we couldn't do sharuk khan and dimple kapadia and john abraham have shown this country we learn from them don't mess this government don't mess with india's biggest global ambassadors you ask them to boycott boycott bollywood they showed you one film with a beautiful message thank thank you sir thank you very much I know. I know. Take, 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 take. I said, sir, sir. Correct, sir. Correct, sir. Correct, sir. Correct, sir. I must. No, no. This is very important. From where? I used to be a big fan of Dimple Kapadia. Now I'm still a big fan of Dimple Kapadia and Deepika. Sir, on a serious note, on a serious note, sir, we have a lot. All of us here have a lot to learn because sometimes they get it so right. and that was a powerful message thank you sir for giving me time today thank you and um, uh, the the friendly country broadcaster direct the friendly country broadcaster you referred to could not find support from the prime minister of that friendly country tiruchi shiva Yes yes you said so It's great to see you here thank you for watching our work if you haven't subscribed yet don't forget to click the bell icon and subscribe to Mojo story and support independent robust journalism